Hi, this is Steph and I am today in the Mornington Peninsula in a spot called the London Bridge that you see here on my back. Absolutely gorgeous for sunset photography. Unfortunately, it's becoming too cloudy and the sunset may not materialize. But nevertheless, I wanted to show you today how you can improve with dark table a sunset like this to a sunset like that in just a few steps that will take about 20 seconds. But let's get into it and see how it works. And here I am in the dark table interface with a photo of the London Bridge. Now, this is the photo I have imported and I've done a couple of operations. First one was a crop and rotate, which because it was not on level. And the second one was a retouch, just because my sensor is not perfectly clean. Why didn't I use the spot removal? Simply because I prefer the retouch, such a great tool. And I want to show you another photo I did yesterday about the sky head in front of me, just outside my place absolutely amazing and i would have loved to have a similar colors into the london bridge photo and somehow actually i can do that and uh, the way to steal the colors that you have in one sky and put it on another sky is to go use the module called color mapping which is here now you have three clusters so three containers by default and uh, where you can put the colors that are in this photo you can use even more containers and just for the example of this photo let's use five containers obviously if you, the more containers you use the more the um, Selective, you will be on the color and uh, to acquire the color just to acquire as a source and you can see that the clusters now have the colors that are in the photo so there is this orangish reddish that comes from the clouds and this uh, bluish and um, greenish that comes from the sky between the clouds now once I have uh, acquired the, these clusters I go on my original photo and you see that uh, the color mapping uh, module has already the five just acquired clusters from the other photo and we do acquire as a target which actually works more as apply as a target so this is for, this photo is the target and that's where I'm gonna apply and you see that the clusters have been applied into this photo it's not the best obviously for a couple of reasons the first one is that it applied the clusters also in the lower part of the photo which is not what I want and the second part is that uh, it has overexposed part of the sky here, especially on the whitish part of the sky. But we can fix that quite easily. And we can do that with a parametric mask. And once we activate the parametric mask, we use the gradient tool and we put it down to the horizon line. And now I have applied only the module on the upper part of the sky. And you can see that, and just deactivate, you see how the sky is changing massively. Now I could, for example, increase the exposure on the lower part and of, of course improve uh, the details here in the London Bridge, but it's not part of this video. Uh, what I wanted to show you as well, and that's the reason why I use the parametric mask, is that um, I don't like to have these overexposed parts into the photo, but I can apply the filter only to the uh, darker part of these clouds. And I can do that if I go down in the parametric mask, I just uh, tweak here the parametric mask. You see that as soon as I go on the left side, the filter applies only to a few clouds, but not to the upper part where the sky is very bright. Now, if you don't see actually where you are applying your parametric mask, you go down and you click on this button that is going to display for you the mask. And you see that it's going to apply the mask only here, but not in the brightest part of the photo. Let's go back now to no mask. As you can see, this is absolutely powerful uh, module, the color mapping. And you can turn it also down with the opacity meter here in order to work on the sky, but not to overexpose the sky. By the way, we had about 30 seconds where the sun broke through that little gap that you see orange on my back. I did a few photos there, which I would like to share with you here now. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and you put a like on it. Subscribe to the channel, tick that little bell to get a notification whenever I post new photo on a dark table and I see you in the next video. Ciao!